Have you ever felt overwhelmed trying to keep track of all your trades and profits in TF2? Always having to scroll dozens of pages back in the slow glitchy steam trade history? You're not alone. Many traders struggle to stay organized and lose track of their progress. For the longest time, I was really lazy. If I needed information on a trade, I'd have to scroll back for up to an hour with a slow steam trade history that doesn't even load every two clicks. I had no idea if I was even profiting when someone offered me an item trade, or if I was undercut, chances were that I didn't even know I was actually losing out while getting a sale. I was thinking of a quick surefire way to access all my item data and profit count. Because imagine having a clear overview of all your trades, profits, and losses at your fingertips. A tool that could help you analyze your trading patterns and improve your strategies. With a proper organization, it's easy to miss opportunities or make mistakes. You might sell an item too soon or hold onto it for too long, resulting in lost profits. That's when I discovered the power of using a spreadsheet for tracking my trades. It was an absolute game changer. I could easily input data, track my progress, and analyze my performance. I started creating a detailed spreadsheet for every trade I made, starting on the 20th of May, 2023. I included columns for the item name, buy price, sell price, profit, and any other relevant notes. It helped me stay organized and make way better trading decisions. As you may or may not know, this is all the data I use for my unusual trading series. With my spreadsheet, I was able to identify which items were most profitable, spot trends in the market, and adjust my strategy accordingly. My trading efficiency and profits increased significantly. Now, imagine being able to do the same by adopting and maintaining a simple spreadsheet for your trading. You can take control of your data, make informed decisions, and boost your profits. And all it really takes is like literally 30 seconds per item you buy and sell. So I'm going to show you how to construct one like mine and retrieve all of these advantages for yourself. Number one, labeling. It depends if you're currently an unusual low tier or high tier trader right now. But first off, please bookmark this page into your bookmark bar. Click the little star up here to do that. The title for me was Unusuals Bought After May 20, 2023, because it would literally take me days to input data from previous purchases into the spreadsheet. So I started it fresh and let time recycle things for me. I believe that as a low tier trader, you are able to input the data as you haven't recently done as many trades. Regardless, just copy my title, but put today's date. Now in the A1 slot at the very top left, you're writing unusual name. This is very simple. You're gonna input the unusual name in here and put it by effect first, item second, and if it has a wear condition, then that third. For example, you'll write Holy Grail Zoom and Broom, Terra Watt Team Captain, Hot Snow Globalization War Paint, Minimal Wear. Next, go into the F1 slot and write the price board. We put it all the way to the right here because we have to leave space for very long unusual names or else it won't fit and your spreadsheet will be messy. Now in the G1 slot is date bought. In the H1 slot is price sold. In the I1 slot is date sold. J1 slot put profit and write in brackets keys. In the K1 slot is profit margin percentage. And I like to highlight the entire top slots in green first. Number two, inputting data. If you haven't watched my unusual trading series, you will label everything that has sold for profit in green. And instead of yellow, just leave it as white if the item is still in your possession. And highlight the item in red if you quick sold the item for a loss or just quick sold. When you buy any unusual, you'll copy and paste its name. Remember in the format, unusual effect plus item plus possible wear condition. Then you'll input the price bought in keys, but make sure that you write just the number and nothing else. Google Sheets won't automatically do calculations if you write keys and ref or whatever, so just the number. And then input the date you bought it on. I know different parts of the world have it ordered differently and Google Sheets may automatically shift the positions, but just write it consistently the way you read it. Now when you sell any unusual, assuming it's green, you're going to list the price it sold for in keys and just write the number here as well. Next, write the date it sold on in the same way, then write your keys and profit again with just the number and no other words in the slot. This can be found by price sold minus price bought. And finally, the profit margin percentage. You can find this using the formula price sold divided by price bought. I like to round up to two decimal places and here you can actually include the percentage sign. Once you've done all of that, highlight all of the slots in green and that's one more successful trade track that is working towards your goal. If you did an item trade, you can swap out the item names and adjust the prices accordingly or group them together. And so what are the advantages of doing this quick 30 second exercise per item? Number three, keep easy track of items. Never will you have to scroll back endlessly for your Steam trades. 
The data is right there for you whenever you need to check it. If you're in a negotiation, you don't need to waste any time and you'll automatically become a more reputable and warm trader for people to approach. If you want to quick sell something, you can check if it's worth it with your newfound data. If you want to recycle old items, you can check which ones you've had for the longest. It's amazing the amount of data you can access just with this simple habit. Number four is statistics. The most awesome thing about Google Sheets is that it'll automatically do complex mathematics for you that is really useful. As long as in the price sport, sold, and profit slots you just wrote the number and in the profit margin percentage you put the number and its percentage sign, you can click the letter slot like this, click the green arrow at the bottom right, and here are extremely useful statistics. You can see the total keys you spend on items, you can automatically track your profits here, you can also see your average profit margin percentage here. And especially as you get more experienced, this data will be absolutely life-saving. Number five, consistency. Now as awesome as all of this knowledge is, you must be consistent in using it. It must become a habit that whenever you buy or sell something, you input the information. Make sure that the page is bookmarked and you keep using it. It's perfectly okay if you're unsure about some things, just put in a roughly accurate guess or just exclude some data altogether. Even in my trading series, I exclaimed that my data is only about 95% accurate, but that's 95% better than 0% in the most uncertain moments. In summary, using your spreadsheet to track your TFT trades can significantly enhance your trading experience. Here are the key points to remember. Labeling. Start by giving your spreadsheet a clear title and labeling the columns for the unusual name, prices, dates, profit, and profit margin. This will help you stay organized and easily input data. Inputting data. Regularly update your spreadsheet with details of your trades, including the item name, buy and sell prices, dates, and profit. Use color coding to quickly identify the status of each trade. Keeping track of items. A spreadsheet allows you to easily access all your trade data, helping you make informed decisions during negotiations and manage your inventory effectively. Statistics. Utilize the automatic calculations in Google Sheets to track your total investment, profits, and average profit margin. This data is invaluable for assessing your trading performance. Consistency. Make it a habit to update your spreadsheet with every trade. Even if your data isn't 100% accurate, it's better than having no record at all. By following these steps and maintaining consistency, you'll be able to maximize the value of your trades and achieve greater success in TFT trading. So, start organizing your data today and watch your profits grow. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more TFT trading tips and share it with fellow traders. Let me know in the comments how this spreadsheet method has improved your trading game and I'll see you in the next video. Happy trading!